So what is liberating about this is I do find people all the time saying, oh my gosh, I can't get rid of those last 10, 15 stubborn pounds. I want to clarify this study that happened at the University of Toronto. It found that overweight people who still ate healthy and were active had the same longevity as their quote unquote ideal weight counterparts. And so it really is liberating because it gets back to a lifestyle. Living a healthy lifestyle, no matter your weight, proves to be beneficial and that's borne out in this study. And I think hopefully both men and women will look at that and say, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna be active, and that is going to get me to my ideal weight. It may not be that cover model look, but I'm good enough with that. And as we're learning, some of the cover models are doing unhealthy things yes. to remain thin. And well, the photos are all retouched anyway. So. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's another topic, though. Yeah. Well, while we're on this topic, we wanted to answer this email we received from Caroline in St. Louis, and she writes, I'm a fairly thin and healthy woman who used to be overweight, but I'm still worried about my size. Which is of greater concern to my health, being too fat or too skinny? I think Dr. Lisa said it best. It really has to do with how you're going about achieving your, your being skinny or being thin. If you're eating right and you're working out and you're not taking diet pills or you're not going on you know, the master cleanse and starving your body, it's a frame of mind. Yeah, it, it's a frame of mind, but there are health risks to the two extremes. Right. Okay. Let's go talk right. about yeah. health risks, Dr. Lisa, because I think... To be fair, it does go beyond just physical appearance. And what we want to talk about is the actual health threat if you are too overweight versus too quote unquote skinny. So we have these models up here. And let's just take this woman who has a tendency to be overweight or obese. We're looking right now at her liver. What does that have to do with being overweight? Well, how you process sugar in your bloodstream. This is insulin, that's sugar. Normally it carries it into the cell, no problem. You have a regular level of sugar in your bloodstream throughout the day. However, the more and more obese you get, your body becomes less and less responsive to the insulin, and that sugar just hangs out in your bloodstream all day long, leading to things like kidney failure, mm -hmm. maybe worsening weight, and over time it can lead to things that you may not think about. Arthritis in all of these joints, even low back pain. People will come in with, with knee pain that's due to arthritis just from over time, all that extra weight wearing away that cartilage. You can only imagine that a lifetime of being obese is going to cause those issues in your heart. This is what I worry about. The number one killer of both men and women in this country, heart disease, being obese does put a strain on your heart, may lead to high blood pressure. And this is what we call that deadly heart attack as those fatty plaques build up in your arteries and your heart, they can rupture, causing a blood clot, which can lead to a fatal heart attack. That's no laughing matter. Not at all. And this lady here, who you can see, is extremely thin. We're going to see what ha the effects on her health, basically her joints. Um, she doesn't have the muscle mass on her joints, but also she has low estrogen. We don't realize that fat, a certain amount of fat in our body produces estrogen, keeps our joints and our bones nice and pliable and she's also having back pain as well and neck pain this, so this can happen in both extremes now when we talk about fertility you know if you're extremely thin again because fat produces hormones or estrogen and that can affect our period that can affect our fertility can ca cause anovulation which can make you become infertile now we know the extremes of it with anorexia the electrolyte imbalance can have problems on the heart and nerve conduction, so the heart can start to beat slower. And as some of you may have known, anorexia can actually lead to death. So message here is too much weight, not good. Too little weight, not good. There is this happy medium that we should all be seeking. It's not perfection, it's just healthy. Okay.